This is tutorial 7-3. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to correct source addresses using the interactive rematch. Um, you could get unmatches because of misspelling, uh, omitting a number or part of a name. So we're going to learn how to correct some of these errors. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that geocoding results attendee street is uh, selected. And we're going to use this button right here, the review and rematch addresses on the geocoding toolbar. Uh, if you lost that, you just go to customize toolbars and select it. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go over to the end here. The fields that we're interested in right now is addresses, uh, not so much cities, but we're going to just shrink these so we can get the zip code. Now what we're going to do is right click on addresses and ascending order. And we're going to go down until we get to 1011 Bradish Street. It's right here. So what we're going to do now that we've found it is highlight it. Uh, as you can see, uh, not all of them have a zip code, but up here there is a zip code for it. So what we're going to do is we are going to give it a zip code by selecting it. Uh, it'll bring you to the other thing, uh, the other side. You can just scroll back so you can see. And down here is where we're going to type in the zip code, which is fifteen twenty three. And with that done, we are going to hit tab. And over here, they tell you a score, which is pretty much uh, the percentage that is correct. Uh, we want the one that's 100. So once that's done, make note up here of matched. Right now, we're at 545. I hit match. It just brought it up to 546. And if we go over here now, it went from being a blank to an M, or a U to an M. Uh, U is unmatched. Okay, and uh, just to make things a little easier, we're going to go up to all addresses and we're just going to be dealing with uh, unmatched. It got rid of all the ones that are matched. So there's a your turn where they want you to find another another address that has a hyphen when it shouldn't. So just go ahead and do that. Okay, now for this, what we're going to do is we're going to right click on object ID and we're going to use ascending. And what we're going to do is scroll down to object ID 826. We're going to highlight it. Okay, as you can see, there is no street or intersection for it. But it does give us a zip code. And what they want us to do is they tell us uh, that there was something uh, attached to this, so a survey that mentioned that the attendee lived on Canada Way. So what we're going to do is we're going to minimize this. Uh, this is if you have outside information. And what we're going to do is they want us to zoom into this area right here. And Canada Way is right here. So now with that done, we are going to uh, restore this. And we're going to use this option down here, pick 
address from a map. So we're just going to click on that, minimize it again. We're going to zoom in roughly to the middle of Canada Way, right click, and pick address. And you can see that it put a dot. And if we open up this again, we can scroll over. This match type was PP. We picked uh, a place. And then they have M now. It went from a U to an M, so it's matched. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. And as you can see, the match number up here went up one as well. Uh, that's it for this tutorial.